Whitney, what happened to your leg? I, um, I got a little cut up on the mountain. A cut? Is it bad? Did a doctor look at it? Not yet, but it's feeling so much better than it was. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Well, let's go upstairs and I'll look at okay. it. Okay. It's too bad she wasn't staying at the ski lodge with the rest of us or a doctor could have checked it out. Okay. What? What is she talking about? Okay, um, let me just explain. <sighs> Teresa forgot to send in the reservation deposit uh, at the ski lodge. So she so ended up staying in a private, isolated cabin. What? Thank God Simone and I got there when we did because we found Whitney naked with Chad standing over her. Okay. What? Uh, Ivy, what are you doing here? You know, we'll uh, let you guys talk. What were you doing? You promised me that you were not going to say anything. No, I didn't. Okay, how could you do this to me? Well, but I didn't tell your mom everything. I did, did. How could you say anything wrong? Well, at least I didn't tell her about the part when Whitney first got to the cabin and she was wearing nothing but a towel and Chad tackled her to the floor. What? Oops. Mom. Oh. Sorry, Whitney. Okay. No more lies. Tell me what happened up at that cabin. It's not what you think it is, Mom, I swear. Really, Dr. But Russell, it's not that bad. I mean, you have no cause to be upset. Everything worked out for the best. Chad and Whitney even got all dressed up and had a romantic dinner. Kay! Whitney even sang Chad a love song. Is this true, Whitney? Didn't I make it clear that both you girls were to stay away from Chad Harris? And now I find out that not only did you disobey me, but you were up at a cabin with him, naked, having romantic dinners, and God only knows what else. You know, Mom. girls, I have found the best thing to do always is just to follow your mother's example. To try to live your lives the way she led hers at your age. Look, look, Mom, just just let me explain exactly how no, things happened. No, I don't happened. need to hear anymore, Whitney. Not only did you willfully disobey me, but you managed to injure your leg as well. Mom. What is this about Whitney injuring her leg? Whitney, what happened? It's fine, Daddy, really. How bad is he? Well, I still need to examine it, but you never can tell. The most innocent-looking cuts can be deceiving. Damn! It's the little tiniest of cuts. You could be laid up for weeks. No tennis, no, no nothing. Oh, honey, I'm sure it's not that bad. It's nothing serious. Any small setback is serious, Eve. How long do you think you can avoid practices? We have tournaments coming up. And I'll make them, Daddy, I promise. How could you let this happen, Whitney? You know you have to be careful. You know what? I shouldn't have let you gone on the ski trip with those people. People get injured all the time. Oh, it didn't happen when she was skiing. What? It happened when Whitney was at the cabin. Now, what the hell were you doing fooling around at a cabin when you're supposed to be skiing with your classmates? Um, well, what happened was that, um... Do we were you gonna... have any idea what a leg injury can do to you? I know. Whitney, I cannot believe that you would do this. You're lucky that you didn't hurt yourself worse than what you did. How could you let this happen, huh? How could you be so careless? I'm sorry. What the hell were you thinking? Well, at least she wasn't alone. Chad was with her. Chad? Do you mind telling me what you were doing with Chad? Well, they were there at the cabin together. You were at a cabin with Chad when you got injured. Really? It's not the way it sounds at all. It's not? Well, you were supposed to be off skiing at the ski lodge. But here you are in a cabin fooling around with some guy who only has one thing on his mind. Nothing happened, Daddy. Nothing happened? You have to believe me. Nothing happened. Well, you got injured, didn't you? That is the worst thing that can happen to an athlete. We have worked our whole lives for your career, Whitney. We put everything we have into it. And I'm not going to let some young punk ruin that. Daddy. I swear, if I ever see Chad Harris around here again, I will kill him. I will tear his head off. Daddy, please calm down. Honey, please. It's all right. No, it's not going to be all right. Wait, Chad didn't do anything wrong. Don't cover for him. I'm not. I'm not. Really. He's a hero. He saved Whitney. I don't want to hear it. 
Okay? I was wrong about him. Your mother was right. This boy is affecting your career. Why won't you just let me explain to you exactly what happened? Because you don't need to. I know what kind of boy he is. See, you girls are innocent. You don't understand his type. He's a street kid. His values are different than yours. Hell, his values don't even exist. The boy has been around, Whitney. There's no telling how many girls he's had. Dad, I thought you liked Chad. I did. He's different, and I was wrong. This is your health we're talking about, Whitney. Your career. You have tournaments coming up. Wimbledon is right around the corner. We have scheduled meetings and practices with the Williams sisters. All of this is just gone. Nothing's changed, Daddy. You were going to do what I wanted to do. What I never got a chance to do. <clears throat> this is intolerable, Whitney. It's intolerable! I guess I kind of blew it. Blew it? What did you think you were doing? I have never seen anyone so angry. I mean, I really believed your dad when he said he was going to tear Chad's head off. It's a good thing Chad will never set foot in this house again. Not after what Whitney said about him. And if he did, I hate to think what my father would do to him. Hello? I came in a bad time. You bastard! You're not going to get away what you did to my daughter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, man, what you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about because I, I, I didn't do a damn thing. Like hell you don't. I know what went on at the cabin. What? I did not mean for this to happen, Simone. I swear I didn't. Stay away from me, Kay. You think you're going to... How could this have happened? Do you like playing dumb or does it just come naturally to you? You don't have to be mean, Simone. You did it. You. I can't believe what you've done. Come on. I, I told you to keep your mouth shut. Everyone told you to keep your mouth shut. Oh, who do you think you're kidding, Simone? You wanted this to happen. What? You told me you wanted Chad. You told me you wanted Whitney to stay away from him. Well, now, thanks to me, she will. Chad is never going to want to go near her again. Whitney's going to be too scared, and Chad won't even come close to her. What about my family? They'll get over it. But they're all torn apart. My father wanted to kill Chad. He was just angry. He was saying whatever came into his head. Trust me, Simone, they will get over it. I'm not so sure. Everything's going to be okay. I know, Daddy. Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You know what? I think I'm going to go outside and get some fresh air. You are a bitch. What? This is all your fault. I'm sorry. You knew exactly okay. what you were doing, Kay. And congratulations, Simone. Your jealousies and suspicions about me and Chad, a guy you're not even supposed to be around in the first place, has made this a real day to remember. Thank you. I didn't do anything. It's tearing this family apart. Have you ever seen Dad that angry? <sighs> he was ready to kill Chad. He wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, well, you better hope not. <laughs>